Hello, and welcome everyone. You have heard of many firsts for George Washington and his amazing career full of accomplishments. But have you ever thought about him being the first American celebrity? So many people wanted to see Washington that he referred to his home as a well-resorted tavern. Can you imagine the planning and preparation necessary for the Washingtons and the ten or so enslaved people in the house to feed and entertain dozens of people day in and day out? Despite the difficulties, the Washingtons were known to be gracious and welcoming hosts. One visitor even wrote in his diary that Washington himself brought a cup of tea in the middle of the night for his cough. When Washington was elected the first president, both he and Mrs. Washington were presented with an entirely new challenge. There wasn't a blueprint on how to be president. Washington's every action set a precedent for those to come. I can only imagine how stressful and scary that must have been. But since the Washingtons were so used to entertaining at Mount Vernon, they were able to transition into their new roles as America's first hosts fairly easily. President Washington welcomed dignitaries and members of Congress to a formal dinner every Thursday. With several courses served, these evenings tended to be stuffy. Perhaps this was caused by members of varying political parties sitting together. Senator William Mackley, a non-federalist from Pennsylvania, wrote, It was a great dinner, but I considered it part of my duty as a senator to submit to it. And I'm glad it's over. While the Thursday dinners may have been overly formal, Mrs. Washington hosted a levy or reception every Friday. These were far more jovial with lemonade, orange tea, wine, delicious fruits, and dessert tables with cakes in the winter and ice cream in the summer. These receptions provided a more relaxed atmosphere for discussion, politicking, and even fun. Mrs. Washington's charm even won over the general's harshest political adversaries.